We, the staff, parents, students, and concerned members of the Chief South International High School community are asking for portable classrooms to house the additional teaching staff being assigned to our school during this school year. Providing adequate resources, including classroom space, is essential for student learning and is a basic responsibility of the district. And in the third paragraph, we go on to write, we informed the district as our remodel was being designed that the remodel itself would have less space due to the removal of the portables. Our enrollment has increased by 400 students since we've gone back into the new building since that time, and now we, we have even less space. Our capacity has been set at 1,200 students, and we are now at 1,246. Our remodel did not include any planned workspace for teachers. And then in the final paragraph, what we're asking is we hope that you will support a decision to support our students by, by providing their teachers with adequate space. And I wanted to just mention that when the remodel took place, there were nine portables that were removed. We did um, receive six classrooms to um, make up for some of that lost space, but it hasn't been adequate to be able to house especially all of the extra students that we have now. Because at that time, we had like around 900 students. And now I'd like to share my um, remaining minute or so with one of the four newly assigned teachers who is one of the people that's going from room to room trying to teach his five different math classes. Joe? Good evening. I'll be quick. My name is Joseph Farrar. I'm a first year teacher at Seattle Public Schools, so this is less grievances and more just hoping for a little help with my walk all day. Uh, I am in six different rooms all day, including my prep period. Uh, the major difficulties is just having kids being able to find me as well as uh, being able to be in and out of every room in time and having the uh, time to be able to devote to the kids in every chance I get. But really, uh, I've worked in portables at both Mercer and uh, Denny when I was long-term subbing there. And it just gives you a place to have the ability to have kids know where you are at all times, but also be able to settle in, be able to make phone calls in a room that teachers aren't teaching in. This is also for the five teachers who give me their room during their preps. They aren't able to do a lot of the things that we all know a teacher needs to do during their prep. So I'm really just a representative of many people who have been giving up a lot to over crowded schools. Thank you. Thank you both for your Thank you. Hi, my name is Allison Enix. I'm a nurse at Chief South International High School. I'm also here in support of our petition. I'm also a parent in the West Seattle community. I just wanted to say as a support person, it is my job to make sure that our students and teachers have what they need in order to achieve academically. I see every day our students looking for their teachers. How do I find Mr. Ferrara? Where is Mr. Cass doing his prep? Our teachers have always had the um, open door policy during their prep time that any student can come to them and talk to them about a concern that they have. And we have displaced 20 people by those five teachers wandering through the building. So 20 people during their preps are also displaced and people are looking for them. I also wanted to see the rest of my time, we have a representative of our parent community from the PTA, Ted Reed. Hi, I'm Ted Reed, I'm a parent in West Hill. Uh, three of my students are in the public school system. And as someone who's done the BLT for the Chief Self and the National High School, um, it was the PTA's pleasure to sign the petition that you can read in tonight, endorsing dealing with the capacity management issue at Chief Self. Um, we continue to hope that the school will grow, and addressing this problem will be a good help to that. So thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you.